Hi, I run Shady Creations. As some of you already know, I am Vicente Clark. I run Shady Creations, as I've already said, and this is one of my latest heads. As you can see, the jaw moves when I talk. It's 100% articulated jaw movement. I move my jaw, it moves its jaw. Now, there have been a lot of questions as to how do I do this. Very, very simple. To be honest, you just have to make sure that the um, jaw is against your chin, very, very snugly. If not, it won't translate movement like it should. As you can see, it's attached directly to my jaw via a strap. Now, a lot of people have been doing the balavaka method. I highly do not recommend that method. It takes forever, doesn't seem to work very well, and is just a pain all over. There's other methods, such as the hinge method, which is great for solid, silent jaw movement. It just requires some nuts, some bolts, jaw movements, easy as pie. But it's only good for silent jaw movements, such as if you're growling, barking, or something like that. That would work best with a, with a hinged jaw. For something that's fully articulated, you want something that is um, a strap jaw. Which, as you can see by this example here, has Velcro just sewn into a piece of elastic. Very simple to do, very easy to do. What you want to do here, though, is you want to have it attached to the jaw. Back here, make sure it's attached nicely. Some hot glue will do fine. And then what you want is another piece of foam right here as your base where you will set your jaw on. Make sure that it's connected to the jaw itself. Hot glue it to it. And that way your chin will sit on top of here. Make sure your chin always touches this and you'll have perfect silent movement. With hinge jaws, there's a bunch of adjusting that has to be done. If I make a hinge jaw for somebody, I have to send instructions as to well, you have to add some fun foam to the inside of the jaw. And you have to just mark it up to where it'll hit your chin and work for you. Even with size measurements, I still have to give the people stuff that they have to do on their own. With 100% with, uh, articulated jaws held on with just straps, as you can see. Very easy to do, very simple to do. It fits kind of like the Balavaga method. And um, I, I don't recommend it. It's unnecessary and it's time consuming. It will fit in the same fashion, aside around the head like that, attaching at the top. The difference is though that getting jaw movement down won't be nearly as difficult. When you do the Balavaka method, once you add foam, and then once you add fur, it, the jaw movement becomes hampered. It becomes more difficult to do and you don't want that want something that's going to work 100% of the time, every time. And this is that little key. Uh, I've noticed a lot of fursuit makers do use this type of method. They won't tell you that they use it, but they use it. And um, as you can see here, you want to have the fur pretty well expanded. On this one, it's 12 inches across. I believe 6 inches down, maybe 7. It's pretty much so that the area of the jaw that is that uh, is exposed will be covered as you can see here. Fur ends at about here and keep in mind I haven't finished this head yet there still needs to be a little bit more fur added down here but it's pretty much so that it gives a seamless look to it. Now because this is a partial and not a full head I have to recommend that anybody who gets a partial with a hundred percent jaw movement with a um, strap get a scarf Scarf's best friend. Hot Topic, 50% off. Paid two dollars for it. They can they make sure that the fur looks nice. They make sure that it wraps around like it should. Because if it's not in a full fur suit, it tends to kind of just go wild on its own since it's not attached to the rest like it should be. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Go to my FA page. Send me a note. If you want quotes on the work I do. Just drop me a line, I'll be more than happy to give you a quote, answer any and all questions that you may have as to where I get hair, how I do eyes, things of that nature. Thank you very much, and remember, Shady Creations, because there is an animal in all of us.